If you're looking to downsize because your home's too big for you or you're not interested in managing the stairs or that garden's got too big, then we wanna go through five mistakes to avoid when it comes to thinking of that downsize. Firstly, don't leave it too late. Enjoy the move. Have the opportunity to enjoy the new property before the opportunity gets taken away. Sometimes people have reflected and have been a bit frustrated really that they didn't do it sooner. So whilst it's a daunting prospect, you may have lived in your home for a very, very long time, we do recommend that you do consider that move and start the process sooner than later. Don't be a slave to your property. I know it's easy for me to say that, but often people that have done the downsize have reflected back to say that they were pleased they did because they were only really using three or four rooms. There might have been nine rooms on offer, they're cleaning them regularly, but actually they're only using three or four themselves. With infrequent visits from family, they felt that actually they were keeping a big house for no reason at all. Start the declutter early, and I mean that nicely, but if you've acquired a lot in a family home over years, then you may well feel that you want to start that process and start to pick the things that you want to take to the new home. If it is a downsize, which is also known as a right size sometimes, all the right size rooms for you, but it will be less of them. So you don't need four bedrooms, you might go down to two, but you've not sacrificed your main bedroom in the process, you kept a reasonable size main bedroom for yourself. That decluttering will mean that you're gonna to have to consider what's important to keep and take with you, what your family members are interested in, and then possibly what could go on to a charity shop or is no longer required. This also happens to help with the process of selling your home. Sometimes you'll find that some less furniture makes a room feel bigger. Fourth up, make sure you view a few properties. You can take your time on this. There's no pressure to go off and find the first property and feel committed to selling your home. You may want to see five, 10, 20 properties before you really do dip your toe in the water. And that's important because there is opportunities out there. There's more properties coming to the market as we're seeing at the moment. And you probably just want to have that comfort, the right style of property or the right size property is available for you. And when it comes to selling your own home, as flattering as it may be, we recommend that you don't just go with the highest valuation. You've got to consider when you list your property on the market, the higher the valuation, the fewer people are likely to view your property. If you price it accurately, you're gonna generate a high number of viewings and you'll get the best possible price. You don't want to give it away. I'm not recommending you go with the lowest valuation either, but look at comparable evidence, look at what's going on in your local marketplace and ensure you go with an agent that's giving you the right advice to get you the best possible price. We've helped hundreds of people in your situation over our time. In our three locations, we are doing this day in, day out. So if you are thinking of selling because you want to downsize or right size, then please don't hesitate to get in touch with our team. Once you've done the downsize and you've settled into the new property, we want to share with you some of the experiences other people have said to us and we're hoping that you'll feel them too. Firstly, that you look back and think that it's the best thing you've done. We've heard it from many, many others before you that they have done the downsize, daunting as it seemed, and they've enjoyed every step of the way and enjoyed the new home and reflected that really they wish they did it sooner. We're hoping also that you'll see that your home running costs will reduce. We're in a time where unfortunately the cost of everything seems to be increasing, but a downsize will mean less council tax, it will mean less on your bills, and that's gonna be a good thing, putting more money in your pocket. We're hopefully gonna see that you're pleased with the decision and recommend it to others, because you may have other friends that want to do the same thing, but they don't have the confidence to do it. So with your advice and your guidance and your commitment that it worked out better for you, that will probably give them the incentive they need to get themselves into a smaller property so they can enjoy the benefits that you are. If you move to a new area, it could well mean new opportunities, new community, new things to do, new things to enjoy, new places to go and visit. Sometimes a move to a new area gives you that real invigoration, a new lease of life, and some real good new friendships can be made. And also we're hoping with the next property, you're gonna have less to look after. So you're gonna free up some time with less garden to look after, less home to look after, and essentially less to maintain. That's got to be a good thing for you. If you're looking to downsize, that's one of the major benefits. As I said before, we've helped hundreds in the past. We'd be very keen to assist you. We can come out to tell you what we can do on your behalf. There's no pressure, there's no hard sell. We've got everything set up to be able to work in your favor. So please don't hesitate to get in touch with the team.